Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is one I actually haven't done for a very, very long time and it's not something I do very often at all but every now and then it's really nice to pop into Poundland, isn't it? And see what they've got, see what's new in. Especially as we are now pretty much, are we pretty much... When this video goes live, are we in spring? I'm so ready for longer, warmer, brighter days. Ready for the flowers, the trees blooming. I'm just ready for a new season. And popping into Poundland right at the start of spring was actually a really good idea because they had loads of really interesting bits in. I wanted to show you what I got that's new in, really exciting stuff. I hope you're all doing really well. Let me know how your week was. Mine has been okay i mean we're a week closer to april the 12th aren't we and april the 12th might bring some more good news who knows but anyway let's get straight into today's video if you're new by the way i'd love it if you could subscribe upload three times every single week let's go if i'm talking weird it's because i've got um, an indigestion mint in my mouth <laughs> okay so actually i ended up getting so much picked up one of their bags for life i quite liked it and i thought you know what, I need a new peg bag for outside because my other one has gone missing. So the first thing um, that I picked out of the bag are these. These are the SIF 100% biodegradable plant fiber wipes. I really like these. They're actually so, so handy just to wipe down door handles. And especially now, we all wanna be wiping like door handles, um, toilet areas, like just the handle parts. Um, sink taps, things like that, just wiping it down. But yeah, these will last quite a while in our house. One pound per pack and there are 80 wipes in each pack. I picked up the Nivea night cream. Now I got, I don't remember when I got it, but I picked up some Nivea night cream quite a while ago and I've been using it actually non-stop, mainly because I've been told it's safe to use during pregnancy, but also it's so nice on your skin. The night cream, the day cream I, I'm not really that keen on, but the night cream I actually use during the day, pretty oily. It makes your skin very smooth and soft, and um, it's just great for dry skin. I've had like really dry skin the last few weeks. It might be to do with winter and the heating being on. It might be a pregnancy thing, I don't know. Is it saying 55 plus age-wise? I don't know. Well, I'm not 55, but I like it anyway. Talcum powder. Never ever have I bought talcum powder, but I have to at the moment. Not for the baby that's due in a few months. For me, I um, since my boobs have been growing, I've been getting like, it's actually sore underneath my boobs. I think it is mainly to do with the bras. Oh, why does that smell so nice? I think it's mainly to do with the bras I'm wearing. It's because where your ribs increase out, maybe the bra's a bit too tight or maybe I'm just sweating under my boobs, who knows, but it's quite sore underneath, so I'm going to try to put some talcum powder underneath them for a while. I love the smell of talcum powder. Just reminds me of my nan's house. Okay, so Poundland actually surprised me. They did have a few baby things in store. I did see one thing that I thought, do you know what? I really like it. And it's this shark rattle. Look at his happy face. I just think he looks so happy to be adopted and you know, you can't ignore a cheesy grin like that. It's a rattle as well. I mean, it's probably gonna be quite difficult to clean, but I don't know, I'll figure something out. But they did have lots of um, similar things and things like lots of um, comforters and blankets and things like that. I decided to go with the rattle because it makes a cute noise and um, it's quite a nice like size to hold. And also look at his happy face. That is one happy shark and I think it's really cute. And for only one pound, I thought it was really sweet. Oh, apparently it's a teether as well. What do they chew? The plastic bit? Who knows? I uploaded in a little haul a few weeks ago that I've purchased some new bird feeders because I've got some pesky squirrels and essentially all of my bird feed is taken by the squirrels. And Lidl had some, like for only 3 dollars some great anti-squirrel bird feeders. They're really, really good. I've not actually managed to fill them up yet because I didn't have the right kind of bird food. But this is why Poundland is amazing. I go there to stock up on bird food. It's so good. So I got quite a lot. So I got these. These are high energy suet pellets with mealworms. Mmm. So I've got two bags of those. They're really good for small birds. And we have lots of like robins. Well, we have two robins, lots of blue tits, yellow tits, things like that in the 
in the garden and it's making me so happy. We also have the berries version. So wild suet also have berries in, again, suitable for all year round feeding. I can't wait to see in the morning the birds chippering around the bird table. Um, we also picked up a big bag of just wild bird black sunflower seeds. Birds love this. I tell you who loves this the most, pigeons. Oh my gosh, they love these <laughs> seeds. So um, we can fill those up as well. All these bags, by the way, are just one pound each, which is fabulous. I think pound is great for this kind of thing. And I've got some fat balls. Um, so wild bird, 10 value fat balls. So if you are planning on sprucing up your garden or an outdoor area, um, head down to Poundan because it's just so much cheaper to buy it from Poundan. They've also got a really good variety, like they've got very, very small seeds which you can just put out on a garden table. Um, and they've got bigger things which you can put in feeders. Highly recommend it all from Poundland. Next couple of bits, I have to have an open mind here. Now when I was picking this up in the shop, Lawrence was very confused. He does not understand why I've gone for this, but hear me out. So I want to create an Easter table and um, I saw something, was it on Instagram or Pinterest, where they had like a faux grass runner going along the table and Panada is selling them. I'll put a picture here of what I mean in terms of what kind of Easter decor table I want to do. Um, but this is a faux grass table runner. It just looks really nice, like on the Pinterest that I've seen. Just run it along the middle and then place like Eastery different things along that grass table runner. When Easter is here, I don't think any of the rules have shifted. So it's only gonna be me and Lawrence anyway, but who cares? I kind of just, I wanna make an effort this year. You know, I'm having a baby later in the year and I probably won't get much time to do much. So I picked up this, only a pound, not bad at all. And a couple of things that will go on to it. I actually really like these. These are like um, iridescent, but yeah, iridescent the right word? Iridescent bunnies. I think they'll look really nice on the table runner. Maybe with some faux eggs around them or um, some hay. And then maybe I can do like a little Easter tree in the middle. Easter trees are really easy to make. You literally just collect branches and twigs from your garden. And then you can paint some eggs, like some plastic eggs or something. Great thing to do if you have kids. So yeah, I thought these were really nice as well. I just really like these, to be honest. I think they look, they look home sensey, don't they? Not just Poundland to me. They look pretty home sense. If you do want to see how that turns out, follow me on Instagram because I'll probably be updating you all on Instagram how my table runner turns out. And if you do have any tips on what to do, let me know. Along with that, and kind of, kind of for the baby and kind of for the Easter decor, I picked up this little bunny. I just think this is absolutely lovely. I think it was for only a pound from Poundland. I don't know, I just didn't expect it. Like, I think it's such a gorgeous bunny. I really like the kind of fabric they've lined the inside of the ears and the inside of the feet with. I think it's really gorgeous and Eastery. And it's just like a really sweet little bunny. I think it will look really cute um, in the baby room, but mainly just for um, Easter. And the Easter table, it can sit somewhere on the grass runner and just complete the look. I was really impressed with this kind of thing. This is a very good like gift as well. If you want to make up like Easter buckets for your children for only a pound, it's really, it's a really nice teddy and it can be put in the washing machine on a gentle wash. Um, I think they had other versions, but I really like this one. Oh yeah, they had a grey bunny. The grey one was sweet as well. The Poundland is excellent for things like the bird feed, but also the garden things. Why I go at this time of year is because you can get really great bulbs and seeds, um, grass seeds, all of that kind of thing for an affordable price. Um, so it's always something I do every year is go to Poundland. Now I picked up a few of these. You may have remember I actually picked these up last year and they work really well. Last year I made this kind of bee and butterfly garden at the end of my garden and it was just for the bees and butterflies and it was gorgeous and it turned out really well and I've done it by using things like this and other bulbs and lots of other wild like bee bombs and things like that but this was great for only a pound and you literally just shake it over soil in like a well lit area and rake it in and then leave it and then just wildflowers start appearing the best thing about wildflowers is they can 
regularly pop up each year. Also, if you have like troughs or borders, it's great for that. It's very low maintenance to throw this in the soil. And also, bee and butterfly wild type flowers and lavenders and buddleias and things like that that are all good for bees and butterflies all smell and just look beautiful and they all tend to be really low maintenance. So if you do want to do something with the garden this year that's like low maintenance, easy, affordable, just get wild flower seeds because you're bound to get lots of different colours, lots of different lovely smells and it's very low maintenance. So yeah, um, I'll probably vlog while I'm doing my garden again this year if you do want to see that. Um, oh, I can sew from Feb to June. I can sew now. I'm gonna sew that this weekend. Poundland is always really, really good to go to for that kind of thing. And then also for the garden, I picked up some more solar powered lights. I love solar powered lights, especially at this time of year. They work really well. I'll see if I've got a picture. There's a tree at the back of my garden and in the summer evenings, oh, I just can't wait. It just looks so gorgeous when it's lit up, it makes such a difference and you kind of just want to sit outside and look at it. Three pounds, they weren't a pound, but they were still a lot cheaper than what you can get on Amazon and things. Um, it's silver wire, it's solar powered. Um, although it's still so affordable, I always find that Poundland solar powered things work and they work really well. 200 LED lights, which should be enough just for the trunk of the tree. Um, and they're warm white, which is actually what I prefer because it's like kind of softer on your eyes. Really nice maybe if I pop back and get a few more boxes of the, these and then I decorate the garden with more lights and I can maybe have some of the girls around. I'll have my baby by then and it'd just be lovely to like all sit in the garden with the baby, maybe a glass of wine in the evening and just chat, you know. I can't wait for that, like the simple things of life. Okay, what else? So Lawrence picked up a box of Pop-Tarts that he really wanted the Choctastic ones, the Frosted Choctastic. I have to say, I'm really not a fan of Pop-Tarts. I don't like them, but they smell so nice. So I don't mind it when he makes them because I love the smell. And also some heat rub massaging cream for Lawrence because he's got um, a bad back and this helps apparently. But it's got ibuprofen in, I think, so I can't actually help him apply it. Two toothpastes. We always go for the Oral-B toothpaste, my favorite toothpaste. Um, also picked up envelopes. Envelopes are one of those things you never think to buy, but you always kind of need, <laughs> and then you struggle. Um, so we've got them now, they're in the house, which is good. And also little um, super glues. Some chewing gum and Lawrence, some new deodorant. And then also, I know this isn't Poundland, this is Aldi, but I, I just bought it the other day and I wanted to show you because it's such a good price. This um, baby changing mat. Is that what they're called? Yeah, a baby changing mat. It was three pound. Um, it's wipe clean. It's gorgeous. Look at the little woodland creatures. I just think it's so gorgeous, so sweet. Um, I love Aldi for this type of stuff. I, you know, things like this really, I'm not even a mum yet, but things like this, I just would never spend too much money on because it's a baby changing mat. Essentially, I just need it to be able to wipe clean <laughs> and help change the baby. And I just thought this one was so gorgeous. Got hedgehogs on, my favorite animals, um, foxes, deer, little beavers i think they're beavers it's so cute they also had like other versions they had like this really nice florally pink one and um yeah for only three pounds i thought i'd include it in today's haul just in case anyone's like on the lookout for that kind of thing anyway that's it for today's haul it was actually really successful going to poundland this time and i'm glad you know, I haven't been in so long because it was kind of novelty. And they have some really, really nice bits in, especially for, you know, spring, Easter and beyond. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will see you again in a couple of days because I upload every three days. And stay well, enjoy the rest of your week, and I love you very much. Bye!